Arrange the parts like so, so you have the left head frame and the right head frame and you also have the neck mounting plate and take the left hand frame which has got the short section there as you can see the difference between the two and then take the neck mounting plate and then showing as the orientation passes over like so line up the two holes and then take in two of the screws provided and the screwdriver place two screws connecting the neck mounting and the left head frame into position once again these are quite fiddly so just gently start off with one and then take the other line up the hole drop the small counter salt sunk screw in like so tighten that up and then taking your other one which will be the right head frame just double check those holes and then once again fit those into position <coughs> Take either of your eye assemblies from issue one and then take your eye socket and just notice you've got a tiny little, if you can see it, a little notch there. Okay, and what we need to do is we need to take one of the eye sockets and we need to place that into position so that that notch fits nicely into there. And then once that's in position, get the black tape that was supplied with this stage and just remove, gently remove the backing paper and then we're going to put that around the edge so that that seals the two parts together, go all the way around, carry on going until it's all gone and then once you've done that do exactly the same to the other one so that you've got both your eyes and the eye sockets there like so. Now, take the framework that we did earlier and take any of the eye sockets and just noticing the position coming in from the front and lining it up with the two holes and you'll notice as well that the way that the actual eye socket sits in this recess here. So once you've done that, place that into position and then tricky get a couple of your countersunk screws once again that were provided and pop those in there tighten those up and do exactly the same for the other side So we've got one in there, do exactly the same with another one. And then once you've done that, do exactly the same with the other side. So that there we go. Both of the both of the eyes are sticking out like so. Now take Robbie's face and just line that up and you'll notice once again with the holes, you've got four holes, two on the left, two on the right. 
take in once again. Count the sunken screws. Placing those in. Might be an idea to do one for each hole on each side. So at least then that is down there like so. Okay, and then just to complete it, put the last two screws in there. And by my calculations, you should have two spare countersunk screws left over. And as you can see there, that's Robbie's face starting to come together. He looks happy as well.